What's up guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com and we have a question from Dusty here uh, talking about how he screwed up his panel. See if I can get a bigger image for you here. Uh, by buffing it out. He burned, he burned the paint basically. So you can see that he pretty much and this this is it sucks you know and it's tough because there's real there's really no easy fix for this you know if you if you burn a panel like this and you're i i believe this is the hood let's see where he's working on i, I mean it looks like the hood to me looks like this is the windshield that's the hood um What's the best way to fix it? Well, the only way to really fix it is to just wash the hood down really well. Uh, you know, with a, a degreaser, like dish soap, right? Sand it down and reshoot it. Because you're going to have to rebase this area here. And you're going to have to rebase this, right? And then you're going to have to clear the whole hood. That's the That's the only way to do it. You know, because you're not going to be blending something in the middle of a hood like this, right? It's just going to, it's not going to be right. So I'm sorry to tell you that you have to redo the panel, but you have to redo the panel. And just be careful next time when buffing. You know, here's a big tip when buffing, okay? Especially on edges. Now, the wheel normally goes clockwise. The buffer goes this way, Okay. So when you're buffing an edge like this, you want to make sure you hold your buffer. It's hard to, sh you want to make sure you're buffing off the edge. So you want to be buffing this way. You don't want to be buffing this way because you're catching. You know, the wheel is going to come and it's going to catch. It's going to catch. It's going to catch. You see the difference? So when you're buffing like this, if your buffer is going clockwise it's spinning this way right you could even hold it straight this way so if your buffer looks like this but you can't because you have a piece of glass here right you got a piece of glass here so you can't hold your buffer let's just say for instance your buffer looks like this okay then you got your buffing wheel and then the, the buffer and you hold it here right and it's spinning this way you can't you know you would do it like this so it buffs down from the lip but you can't because this is in the way. So you're going to have to turn your buffer this way. Okay, this is your handle, your trigger and whatnot. Okay, and then you're going to want to buff off the corner. So it's going to go this way. Okay, so it's a huge trick on buffing because when you get into the lip like this, you know, the edge and you're, and you're buffing this way. Well, this way is okay. I'm saying, you know, if you have your buffer this way, it's no good. All right. So that's pretty much my uh, tip for you there. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, comment down below. What do you guys think? Should you blend in the middle of a hood like this? I believe this is the middle of the hood. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and it looks like this is the windshield. I believe. It's, ve it's a very hard image to see, to, to, to see where this is. It's got to be the hood. This looks like a hinge or something. But uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you're brand new to this channel, please like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, be sure to check out LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com uh, to get yourself a completely revised interactive training auto body guide. So there's tons of topics in this guide. Um, all you have to do to get it is just go to learnautobodyandpaint.com or if you're on mobile watching this video, click this. You're going to have a little drop down. You can click it. You'll come to the site like this where you can put your email and get it. Uh, if you're on a desktop, just look down below in the description here. Okay. And you'll be able to click it, come here and, uh, and download your free guide. Also, don't forget to check out VIP. VIP is amazing. Don't take it from me. There's tons of testimonials that we have all floating all over the internet. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So the guide's super interactive. You're going to be able to, like, it says something about buffing, right? You click it, it'll take you to a video on buffing. So it's super interactive. All right? I think you're really, really going to like it. It's Tony here. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. All right, bye.